Okay, I'm going to show how to add child themes and then edit those child themes in WordPress. And so I already have made one um, called Child of 2012. I haven't done much with it though yet, so you'll see the whole process. And uh, we're going to be modifying the 2012 theme, which is the default theme in WordPress. Let me go back to the dashboard for people who haven't ever done this before. And from the dashboard, we're going to go to Appearance and then themes and these are the themes you have to work with whatever shows up in here or you can add other themes but if the, what we're going to do in this case is you can go to install themes and grab other themes but what we're going to do in this case is make a child of 2012 and the reason we're going to do that is if 2012 changes and updates the child will not be affected the child will continue to kind of hang on the back of 2012 and, the, and it won't you won't it won't break your theme when there's a new 2012. So there's a wisdom behind using child themes. It's a very common practice. So how do you do it? I'm going to go to Dreamweaver for a moment, and uh, I've made this file. Okay, so I've created a new CSS file, and this is what's in it. These lines. At the very top, you have to have at import space URL and then you have a parenthesis and a single quote dot dot which is going to go out of the directory you're in and go find the 2012 directory and go find that style CSS and import it into your theme then it's going to call uh, oh you also need this comment by the way this is a CSS comment opening comment closing comment you're going to want this to say whatever the name of the folder is that you're putting your theme into, your child theme into. And this isn't that important, this line, but you should have theme URI, but just put whatever you want to here. And then description should be here, but what you put in for description is not so important. Author, you should put your own name. And the template should say what this is a template for, 2012 in this case. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Here's my uh, WordPress installation. I put it in a big folder called My WordPress, and then uh, I unzipped it. You can see this is a zip. I unzipped it. So let's go find what I unzipped. It was WordPress 3.51, and that made me a WordPress folder. And what I did was I made myself a folder called WordPress Site, and inside of there I've got my WordPress folder with my WP admin, my WP content, and my WP includes. WordPress always has these three folders. So if we go down into WP content and we get into the themes folder, you'll see child of 2012. That's the new folder I made. So you're going to want to make your own. Just click on new folder and call yours child of 2012 with dashes in between. And so I already did that. And here you can see 2012. This is the one that came with WordPress, as did 2011. But let's just stick with 2012 because it's the latest. So what's inside of Child of 2012? Well, that's where I've got style.css, and I'm going to make a new header. So let's get rid of that old header. I want you guys to see how I do that. So style.css, what's that? That's this. OK? Now, I want to make at least one change in this child style so that we can all see that there's a change when I affect it. So what I'm going to do is um, add a body tag, and I'm going to say, give myself some CSS curly brackets here, and I'm going to say background color colon uh, light blue semicolon and that's all I'm going to do and I'm going to save this file save now I'm going to go to my files dialog box and click over here with this little expand button on the right and here's all my stuff so there's WordPress there's WP content there's themes there's child of 2012 in fact I can take the whole folder and drag it up there to themes. It's already up there, but we'll just do it again so you can see it. 
And so there's my child theme in place next to the regular themes. Okay. Now back to my browser. Now I'm in WordPress in the dashboard and I want to see what 2012 look what my site looks like with 2012. Um, uh, before I do that, let's look at header and see if we can assign headers on this. We can. Let's uh, let's remove the header image for now and let's save the changes. And I want you to see what it's going to look like in WordPress right from scratch with the 2012 theme. So here's what I do. I can click over here in the dashboard under media under my uh, visit site, or I can click on control and click on media student 29 or whatever the name of my site is and let's update the page okay so this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna have the name of your site a little tagline and a menu but I want a header so I'm gonna go back in to my 2012 theme I'm gonna to go to my header and I'm gonna say I want to browse for a header file that's the one I want right there it's they recommend 960 pixels by 250 pixels I'm gonna take that and I'm going to upload it and I've already done this once so you'll just see it twice and it can you can crop it and publish it that is I can crop it by playing with this or I can just skip cropping and publish as is because it's already a good size and save changes now let's look at the page update the page looks good we have a header and we have our site name and the menus at the top of the header and now I want to um, load my child theme because I don't want it to look like this. I want to make some changes. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to Appearance Themes. And since we've added a child theme, when we go to child when we go to themes, down below we should see one called Child of 2012. And that's this. Now this one has a pretty picture with it and most themes do we don't have a pretty picture because we never made a file called screenshot.png we could do that but I don't want to take the time right now so I'm going to activate my child theme just by clicking on activate if we did do the screenshot PNG we would put it in our child theme folder and then it would see it by the way okay so it's activated let's update our, our view okay so we lose our header why is that let's go back and take a look we're in child of 2012 now we're gonna to go to header again now with this header um, it's unique to each theme so you have to go in again and say oh this is the one I want and then I can save changes and then I can come in and see did that look right yeah it looks good but now I want to make some other changes. Oh, by the way, do you see on my child theme the light blue background on the body all the way around? So we can see that this really is the child theme at work here. But now what I want to do is I want to remove all this and I want to take this menu and put it below this header. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to, um, let's do it this way. Let's go to, Child of 2012 is where we're at right now. Let's go to Themes. Let's go to 2012. Let's go to the header for 2012. There's a thing called header PHP. Let's grab that. Control C. Back to Themes. Back into Child of 2012. And paste. Okay, now let's edit header. I'm going to right click it. Open with Adobe Dreamweaver or with whatever editor you want. And let's make sure we don't have anything else open here. We do have, we, two, we have two headers. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, just one at a time. So, I wanna make some changes on this one and this is the one that's in the Child of 2012 folder. I don't wanna be editing the original. This is my copy, okay? Now what am I gonna change here? This is a little bit intuitive once you've done it a few times I guess um, but what I'm gonna do is you see all this stuff up here in the top 
you know, the body, I would never mess with the body tag. But here we have the header masthead. And actually, I don't want to mess with the header either. But I do want to change this H group, which has the site title and the site description. I just don't want those. Now, you could change those. You could put other things in. I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to take away this whole H group and just delete it. And the site navigation. I can see that the site navigation begins right here, right underneath the masthead. And the site navigation ends right here. In fact, it shows me a closing tag for nav. I'm going to take all that and control X or command X if you're on a Mac and see the next thing is header image I want it to be under the header image so I'm gonna go just under the header before I close uh, get into the main and the wrapper right here and paste so what I've done is I put the navigation under the header Okay, and let's just tighten it up a little bit so it's easier to see on this relatively small screen. Okay, anything else we might want to do? Not for now. I'm going to keep it simple for now. And we'll save it. Command S or Control S, whichever you have, Mac or PC. And uh, I'm going to take this whole, see where I'm at in my files panel here? I'm going to pick this whole child of 2012 theme and I'm just going to click on the put files to Atlantis and it should just do the whole thing. Do you want to put dependent files? This means if there's a picture of something that's referenced by one of these files and you didn't grab it when you did the put, it'll go out and find it. I normally, that's not an issue because I usually move exactly what I want. So that's done. Let's go back to our browser now and this is what it looked like before let's update the page now you can see if I can get it to stay up there now you can see that the headers at the top and the menus at the bottom and all that text at the top that was kind of stealing our space is gone so now I have uh, a page that's pretty much ready to go but I want to take it one step further I want to make my header be not 250 pixels high, but let's say I'm a real hardcore case where I want to put so much stuff in that sweet spot at the top of the page that I can't stand to have a real big fat uh, header up here. So I want a header that's just going to be 100 pixels. Okay, so let me show you how you would do that. So I'm going to go back to header, and I have another header here. I could upload it, or I can just pick this one. This one's 100 pixels high, or you can browse and upload and we'll save changes and let's go in and update the page and that should work but let's see other stuff we might want to change uh, for instance this menu is a little bit uh, weak I would say it's it's a little bit um, it doesn't really jump out and grab you does it so let's do a little bit of investigation on that I'm gonna go to tools web developer firebug and you can download and install firebug it's pretty easy to do and what it allows you to do let me open firebug uh, let's just get a little room here and what I do is I go to the item that's second from the left which is called click an element in the page to inspect let's click that and let's click on this and see what we can find out about this um, home button or this sample page button. I'm going to click on the sample page button and let's just look at what kind of options we have here. We do have a color for example. That color can be changed here. So let me just do it again because I'm losing it. There we go. And I'll just click on color here and what I'm going to do is let's make that just black make it simple. And so that did change the black. I know you probably didn't see it. Let's let's change it to something else so you can believe me. Um, red. See how it changed to red? It's a temporary change. Anything you do right here in Firebug or in any of the browser um, editing tools, they're temporary changes. Okay. Um, 
Also, I might be interested in uh, a font size change. Um, I really don't want that to be red, by the way. Let's let's go back to black, and I want to add a property. So I'm right clicking, and I can go to um, new property. I'm going to say font size colon, and I want that to be. Um, I'm going to say 1 EM and see what I get. Not much change. 1.4 EM. Yeah. By doing that, it's a much more evident page um, link. So I'm going to leave that. 1.4 EM. And um, what else might I want to do? Yeah, there's other things we could do here. Well, let's just take what we did there and, and capture it. So I'm going to grab this, Control C, go to Dreamweaver, go to my style CSS, and add a new line, and say that, yeah, these are changes I want to make uh, from my original. I don't need, really, this and this, because they're already in the style. You could leave them in. It's no big deal. And I don't need that. And uh, the line height I don't need. It's already being adjusted. But you could leave those in. It's not a big deal. I'm going to save that. and uh, But I'm not going to upload it yet. I just have it here for when I'm ready. Um, let's see anything else we might want to change. By the way, I want you to see something. If I refresh this page, all those changes go away. So remember, they're temporary changes until you upload the style CSS. Okay, one more change. See this? This is the page, div ID page. I'm going to click that and I'm going to say margin top shouldn't be 3 EMs. I want it to be 0. So now this whole thing goes to the very top. Let's save that. Control C. Let's go to Dreamweaver. Let's add another line, and we'll just, uh, in the interest of time, we're going to save that. We're going to come up here. We're going to update it. No. We're going to go to the site. We're going to close Firebug, and we're going to update the site. And now everything is updated, and the page is at the very top, and we're good. And that's a little bit about how you can customize a child theme for WordPress 2012.